So we're fresh off the DNC. The Hollywood act that the DNC put on for the last few days, Monday through Thursday this past week. Turn the page to Friday. And what's in the news? Brittany Mahomes is under fire for liking a post by Donald Trump on Instagram. Really? This is where we're at in 2024? I mean, come on. We had sports figures show up at the DNC. Steve Kerr, coach of the Golden State Warriors. Steph Curry, former MVP, player for the Golden State Warriors. They espouse their support for Kamala Harris, but that's okay. But heaven forbid somebody likes a post that Donald Trump puts out on Instagram, and no, we can't have that. So here we are at the Daily Mail. Brittany Mahomes likes Donald Trump post as Chief Swag sparks liberal meltdown before she hits back at haters. Basically, this is the post she liked. This is what the Trump campaign put out as her GLP platform, and this is the post that Brittany Mahomes liked. Just for context. Brittany Mahomes is fired back at her haters after the Kansas City Chiefs wag sparked a liberal meltdown on social media by liking a Donald Trump post on Instagram. Brittany, who has been married to Chiefs star quarterback Patrick Mahomes since 2022, reacted to the online uproar on Friday with a post on her Instagram story. Initially, eagle-eyed users caught the soon-to-be mother of three liking a Trump post mapping out 16 of his policies to his 26.3 million followers ranging from topics on immigration to the economy. Oh my gosh. She liked a post that outlines his platform. We can't have that now, can we? The like has generated plenty of outrage amongst liberals on social media, and Brittany appeared to hit out at her critics in a fiery response. As she should. Do not apologize. It will only make it worse. They will only pile on more. Brittany's apparent endorsement of Trump's policies could lead to an awkward reunion with fellow chief swag Taylor Swift, who has publicly expressed disdain for Trump and voted for his ex-rival Joe Biden in the past. Yeah, I wonder how that's going to work out. See, this, this is where we're at now. I like this guy. You like that guy. We can no longer be friends because I hate this guy and you hate that guy. We can't have civil discourse. We can't agree to disagree, which is absolutely freaking insane. That that's where we're at as a country. I myself, I know plenty of people that like Joe Biden. I know plenty of people like Kamala Harris. Good for them. Doesn't mean I hate their guts and won't talk to them. And I'm talking about people I've known since grade school. Fans believe the political controversy could even be enough to bring their newfound friendship crashing down on the eve of the new NFL season. After Mahomes' like was unearthed this week, many believe Swift, a known liberal who publicly accused Trump of stoking white supremacy in 2020, will now ditch her fellow chief swag. One person wrote over on X, well, it looks like Britney can forget posting up with Taylor Swift in the skyboxes from now on could seriously strain their TikTok relationship. Another posted, tis the season is going to be awkward in the stadium suites with Britney and Taylor Swift. Another one quipped, Britney Mahomes, Taylor Swift is never, ever getting back together with you. So this story from the New York Post, Brittany Mahomes slams haters after backlash for liking Trump 2024 platform social media post. So this is what Brittany put out on Instagram. To be a hater as an adult, you have to have some deep-rooted issues you refuse to heal from childhood. There's no reason your brain is fully developed and you hate to see others doing well. I got, I see nothing wrong with that. She should just leave it right there. Not make another statement. My opinion, let the haters hate. 
It's social media. It's not the real world. And if Taylor Swift's got a problem with it, who really gives a shit? I mean, seriously. I mean, some of these other comments that the New York Post pulls over from X is just crazy. Brittany Mahomes just outed herself as a Trump supporter. So? I don't get how people with kids could still vote for a known child ist and felon. Guess people like Brittany Mahomes prefer tax breaks over child safety. Wow. Patrick Mahomes, imagine marrying someone who doesn't care about your rights and your kids' rights. Brittany Mahomes agreeing with Project 2025, but married to a black man with mixed kids is insane. These people are nuts. These people have something wrong with them. You can have differing opinions. It's okay. Now it says here in the New York Post article that Mahomes appears to have since removed the like from her post. She shouldn't have removed it. That's my opinion. She should have just left it there. And that's, and that's part of the problem is that these people that are famous, that are celebrities, are more concerned about their celebrity and people's opinions than they should be. Leave the like there. Don't apologize. Because they will, again, they will just pile on. And Patrick Mahomes has done the right thing. This line here in the New York Post article sums it up. This is, this is, this is how you treat politics if you're an athlete. The social media saga comes just months after Mahomes' NFL superstar husband made headlines for declining to weigh in and on the pres presidential race. He told Time Magazine in April that he doesn't want to pressure anyone to vote for a certain president. Boom. There you go. Mic drop. Word to you, to you athletes out there. It's okay to have your picture taken with Donald Trump. I'm talking to you, Joe Burrow, Herschel Walker, Max Crosby. It's okay. It's okay to have your picture taken with Joe Biden. It's okay to have your picture taken with Kamala Harris and put on, on social media. What gets you in trouble as a famous athlete is when you start taking sides because you think it's going to make a difference. When really, people don't care who you endorse. People don't care about your politics. Take a page from the GOAT, Michael Jordan. Remember, back in the day, Michael Jordan was asked why he doesn't get political. And I believe his, his, and this is from memory, so correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, but um, his, his response was, Republicans wear sneakers too. See, he was smart. He wasn't going to alienate half of the country because of who he endorses, because who, of who he personally supports. And that's the way all athletes should treat this. this. Not just athletes, but this is how Hollywood should be treating this. But they don't. Because a bunch of them are self-absorbed. Um, we'll just call, call a spade a spade. They're a bunch of self-absorbed self pricks. So there you go. There's my two cents on the Brittany Holmes saga from yesterday. Comment down below. Tell me what you think. While you're at it, please take the time to smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. And with that, I will see you guys.